Tesla has finally done it. The long-awaited $16,000 Model 2 is here. Built with the monstrous 54,000-ton Gigapress, capable of molding a car body every five seconds, this isn't just another EV launch. It's a complete manufacturing revolution. But how did Elon Musk make it this cheap? Without cutting corners? And what does it mean for the entire auto industry? Let's dive right in. And Tesla announced that the $16,000 Model 2 was finally real. It didn't feel like a product launch. It felt like history unfolding. For years, the world doubted Elon Musk's promise to build a truly affordable Tesla. But now, as the first prototypes roll out, even the biggest skeptics are being forced to reconsider. Because this isn't just a cheaper car, it's a complete reinvention of how cars are made. The secret weapon behind this revolution stands deep inside Giga Texas, a massive machine so powerful it bends industrial logic. The 54,000-ton Giga Press. Its presence alone tells you Tesla didn't cut corners, it cut complexity. Where traditional automakers weld, glue, and bolt together hundreds of metal pieces, Tesla melts aluminum, injects it into a mold at 500 degrees Celsius, and five seconds later, a perfectly formed chassis emerges. No gaps, no human hands, just precision beyond what factories ever dreamed possible. This single innovation wiped out entire production stages. What used to take hours of assembly now happens in seconds. Labor costs dropped, waste nearly vanished, and the consistency of every piece is flawless. Each frame is identical down to the millimeter, meaning fewer vibrations, better safety, and tighter aerodynamics. Even the leftover aluminum doesn't go to waste. It's recycled instantly back into the machine, creating a factory that quite literally feeds itself. But this wasn't just about building faster. It was about reprogramming what a factory could be. For over a century, the auto industry accepted inefficiency as the cost of doing business. Tesla's Gigapress shattered that rule. It turned the factory into a single synchronized organism, efficient, circular, and nearly autonomous. And that's just one half of the equation. The other half, the real secret behind the $16,000 price tag, lies beneath the car itself. A new generation of structural battery packs. Instead of the expensive nickel-cobalt chemistry found in high-end models, Tesla switched to LFP, or lithium iron phosphate cells. These batteries are cheaper, safer, and less dependent on volatile global supply chains. But Tesla didn't stop there. They integrated the battery directly into the car's frame, merging power and structure into one. This move alone removed dozens of parts, kilometers of wiring, and hours of labor. It also gave the Model 2 a lower center of gravity, sharper handling, and better crash resistance. In short, the car became lighter, safer, and stronger, all while costing far less to build. And despite its smaller capacity of 53 kilowatt hours, the Model 2 achieves a stunning 310 miles of range thanks to Tesla's relentless aerodynamic optimization. This is the moment where technology meets philosophy. Musk once said, the best part is no part. That mindset is visible in every inch of this car. Every bolt, wire, and component had to answer a single question. Does this really need to be here? What's left is a product so efficient it feels almost inevitable, as if the design was carved out of logic itself. But there's another layer to this story, one that goes beyond technology. Tesla's decision to use LFP batteries isn't just about cost reduction. It's about independence. By moving away from rare minerals controlled by a handful of countries, Tesla protects itself from geopolitical shocks. 
It's a long-term strategic move that could define the company's stability for the next decade. While other automakers are still chasing subsidies, Tesla is quietly proving that electric vehicles can be both profitable and accessible, a combination once thought impossible. And then comes the twist that few expected. The Model 2's first mass production site won't be in the United States or Europe, but in China. At first glance, that seemed like a controversial move, but in reality, it's the most rational one. Tesla's Giga Shanghai has become its most efficient facility on Earth. The factory can already assemble a Model Y every 33 seconds. And with the simpler design of the Model 2, that number could fall to just 20 seconds. That's manufacturing at an almost biological level. A living, breathing rhythm of machines. And strategically, it places Tesla right at the heart of the world's most competitive electric vehicle market. China isn't just where EVS are made, it's where the next phase of mobility will be decided. Competing on BYD's home turf is a bold move, but it's also a declaration. Tesla isn't retreating from competition. It's setting the global standard from within the battlefield. This global strategy ensures that production stays close to its suppliers. The LFP cells come directly from CATL, reducing transport costs, delays, and quality risks. Once production stabilizes, the same gigapress-driven blueprint will spread to Berlin, Mexico, and Texas. In effect, Tesla is creating a chain of mirrored ecosystems, factories that replicate themselves, sharing the same DNA of speed, precision, and automation. And yet, despite all the industrial might, there's something surprisingly human about this story. Because, for the first time, Tesla isn't building for the elite. It's building for everyone. The Model 2 isn't about prestige or luxury. It's about accessibility. Every element of its design was stripped of excess, not to look cheap, but to feel right. Inside, the car carries the same minimalist soul that made Tesla famous, but with purpose instead of pretense. Fabric seats instead of leather mean better comfort in hot climates. Simplified glass panels make the car lighter and easier to repair. The absence of a panoramic roof or high-end speakers isn't a cost cut. It's a declaration of intent. The car focuses on what matters, driving, efficiency, and experience. It's ironic, but in Tesla's pursuit of affordability, it may have redefined luxury itself. True luxury isn't about materials. It's about intelligence, design, and intent. When you sit in the Model 2, you don't feel like you've compromised. You feel like you've chosen smarter. That subtle emotional victory might be Musk's most underrated achievement. The philosophy behind the Model 2, simplicity, scalability, and self-sufficiency, is more than an industrial concept. It's a statement about the future of production. For decades, the car industry grew bloated with options, parts, and layers of cost hidden behind marketing. Tesla stripped all of that away and asked the world to imagine something radical. What if the car of the future doesn't need to be complicated to be great? That's why the $16,000 price tag matters so much. It's not just a financial number, it's symbolic. It says to the world that electric mobility isn't a dream anymore. It's a right. It's proof that innovation, when done right, can make things simpler, not more expensive. And if that sounds idealistic, the data proves otherwise. Every major automaker is now re-evaluating their production plans after Tesla's announcement. Volkswagen has launched emergency meetings. Toyota and Hyundai are scrambling to simplify their EV lines. Because when one company manages to cut production time from days to minutes and cost from $40,000 to $16,000, the rest of the world has no choice but to react. 
The ripple effect is already visible. Analysts are calling it the beginning of the gigapress era, a time when manufacturing becomes as fast, precise, and adaptive as software. Elon Musk himself once said, Tesla's greatest product wasn't the car, it was the factory. And now, that statement feels prophetic. The Gigapress isn't just making cars, it's printing the future. Every cycle of molten aluminum, every cast frame, every recycled drop of metal feeds a global shift toward industrial self-sufficiency. What we're witnessing with the Model 2 isn't a one-time breakthrough. It's the foundation of a scalable system, capable of changing how everything from cars to rockets could one day be built. So yes, this car is small, affordable, even minimalist. But don't mistake its simplicity for weakness. Inside that simplicity lies Tesla's ultimate strength, the ability to make the complex feel effortless. And when history looks back at this moment, it won't just see the birth of a cheap electric car. It will see the moment when Tesla taught the world that the future isn't expensive, it's efficient. The only question left is whether the rest of the world is ready to catch up. And this, right here, is exactly why the Tesla Model 2 matters. It's not just a cheaper car. It's proof that innovation can make technology simpler, faster, and within everyone's reach. The same breakthroughs behind this $16,000 revolution, the Gigapress, structural batteries, and radical efficiency, are the foundations that will power humanity's next great leap, from electric mobility to interplanetary engineering. This moment marks a shift. The future isn't expensive anymore. It's efficient, practical, and already unfolding before our eyes. So, what do you think? Will this breakthrough reshape the world on Earth first, or accelerate our journey beyond it? Share your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your take. If you found this analysis valuable, make sure to like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more deep dives into the technology shaping our future. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss the next breakthrough. Because the revolution has already begun, and we're here to follow it together.